At a studio in Darwin, musicians from Indonesia and Arnhem Land have come together to make music. I like the ditch, I can take it home. The relationship between the two cultural groups goes back hundreds of years, prior to British settlement, when Indonesian fishermen visited Australia's northern coast each year, setting up camp for months at a time to fish for trepang. But their connection may be closer and more current than anyone's realised. These photographs show young Aboriginal men and children posed in a studio in what's now Indonesia in the 1870s, around the time the British were setting up their first permanent settlements on the Northern Territory coast. The caption, written in Italian, translates as People of Northern Australia photographed in Makassar in 1873. They had heard about Aboriginal people travelling to Indonesia, but the studio portraits come as a shock. Photo, photograph is different because the photos give you a really, you know, strong uh, connection stuff. Oh, they are real. They are, they are there. They visited Makassar in 19th centuries. What, what do you think about when you look at that photo there? Yes, I think I'm focusing on the, the little one, yeah? Because uh, I'm really curious about when and where this little boy was born and whether he joined a voyage from Australia to Makassar or perhaps he was born in Makassar from a Aborigines and Makassan's family. I don't know what happened to him. The visits by Asian crews to Australia are well documented. Every year, from the mid-1600s through to the early 1900s, the fishermen would travel to Australia's northern beaches and set up camps where they would catch, cook and preserve trepang, also known as sea cucumber. There's plenty of evidence of their visits. Archaeologists have uncovered pottery and fire pits at the sites, and Macassan words and images made their way into local Aboriginal culture. But the photographs are the first visual evidence that Aboriginal people made the return trip, travelling with the itinerant fishermen back to the bustling port city of Makassar. So these are the photographs that um, I found in the archives in the Pigarini Museum in Rome. History professor Jane Lydon saw the photos referenced in a 19th century textbook and travelled to Italy to try to find them. Oh look, I was absolutely blown away. Among them was this collection of Australian Aboriginal photographs that had really been um, undiscovered you know, for such a long time. So it was tremendously exciting. The photos were taken by an Italian naturalist who was travelling through Southeast Asia at the time. They corroborate written and oral accounts of a significant number of Aboriginal people moving to Indonesia during the 1800s. It's unclear whether they left voluntarily or perhaps were forced. One account was recorded from an Aboriginal elder called Jalajari, who travelled to Makassar with visiting foreign fishermen in the late 1800s. Near where I stayed, several countrymen of mine were living. There was Jamaduda from the English Company Islands who had come to Makassar as a small boy. He had worked there and had never returned home. When I saw him, he was a grown man. He'd married a Makassan woman and had four sons and four daughters. Then there was Gadari, a Wangari Manjagai man from Arnhem Bay. He had come as a young man, worked there and married a Makassan woman. When I met him, he was middle-aged and had a lot of children there. And Aboriginal elders agree. Back in Darwin, the Yongu musicians are seeing the photographs for the first time. The photo been taken in 1874. What do you think when you see those photos? Yeah, it's a Yurungo people. They look like from Arnhem Land. Arnhem Land. They look like from Arnhem Land. Can you tell? Just by recognizing all these signs on here on the sides, because this is how the um, our people you are more alike. Yeah. Because I was born in 1960, and I just heard story about what's been happening during that time. Like there has been a lot of people taken to Indonesia 
little family stayed there. Like men. And also I heard about the woman that has been taken there. How does it make you feel when you see these people? Yeah, because it just feels me like there are Aboriginal people from our, from our country. From Everybody who studied the images agrees that they raise more questions than they provide answers. What happened to the people in the images? Did they travel back home here to the northern coast of Australia? Or did they stay and potentially leave descendants? The photos are being circulated in Macassar and Arnhem Land to try to find answers. I think it's, it's a really rich part of our history that's been overlooked. Uh, it points to this centuries old trade and connections and exchanges with our region, with Indonesia and Sulawesi. It's unclear whether descendants still living in Indonesia would be eligible for Australian citizenship, but the search is now underway to try to find them. 